As you guys know, we were in Florida for a really long time and we just got back not too long ago. We were out there for nearly a month and it was awesome while we were out there. We had a whole bunch of fun and stuff, uh, but things were still happening back home here in Colorado. And right now we are over at the uh, house, the OG Booster Boys house. This is where Wago and the Hatch have been sitting for quite some time now. Ever since Wago got into that car accident, we've had it here on jack stands. And then the Hatch has been sitting for, I don't even know how long, probably ever since we gave Leslie a ride in the thing. Uh, so these things have been sitting here for a while, but today we are starting the moving process because if you guys saw the title of the video, we actually got a new place. Uh, it's going to be a lot closer to the shop and today we're just kind of starting to get some stuff moved over. I already have most of my personal belongings moved out from my room, but we still have a whole bunch of stuff left over in the garage that needs to be addressed. Street bike going by. We are here with our friend Gordo. Uh, you guys may know him from Goofy Built Shane's video. He's always helping him out. Uh, so the other guys are kind of busy right now. So I'm just kind of going back and forth with moving some stuff out uh, as much as I can, working around with all this stuff going on. But today we are trying to get the hatch moved over to the new place. So she has been sitting for quite some time. I don't even remember the last time we fired this thing up. I need to check if this thing even has oil in it. Oh, she is good. So we're gonna try to get the hatch moved over today. There's still a whole bunch of other things in the garage that need moved out. A lot of this stuff is Hayden's. Uh, Wago still needs to be fixed before it is drivable. I tracked down an oil pan for this thing. So I need to get a new oil pan on there. We have the fender, we have the new traction bar from Innovative. So Wago just needs thrown back together. The only thing I need now is to get some wheels on the way because you guys remember we destroyed the wheels on that side. But uh, yeah, I didn't really know how to film this video guys. Uh, the Boosted Boys house, the OG one that kind of started everything is coming to an end. We are moving on. Uh, right now, the shop is almost an hour drive. Actually, it's like a 40 minute drive for me right now. And we got a place that's much closer, so it's gonna be way more convenient uh, for while we're trying to work at the shop and stuff. And I know most of the videos are out at the shop anyways. We don't really film too much stuff at the house as is. Um, but yeah, just wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes because we are officially moving out of this place, so it is kind of sad. I think by the end of this video, I might throw a collage of all the good times we've had here, but yeah, I don't even really know what else to say. We're gonna go ahead and see if the hatch wants to uh, fire up and Gordo is over here with me so we can take the truck back. He just came with me so he can follow me in the hatch, make sure she doesn't break down on us. And this won't be the last video we have here. We'll probably have a couple more uh, once we come back to fix Wago. And I was just talking to Hayden a few minutes ago on the phone and we were trying to get a plan together on what we need to do to get all this other stuff cleaned out. We have the shed on the side with a whole bunch of engine parts that needs cleaned out. And yeah, I don't wanna keep rambling on guys, but it is sad. Start of the channel was right here in this garage and we're finally leaving, moving on to better things. So yeah, let's just focus on this girl, I guess today, get a jump box on her, see if she wants to fire up and bring her back to the new place. That's gonna be the focus of today. So let's do it. All right, so we got the jump box hooked up because this thing is completely dead. And fun fact about the oil on the hatch is this is the same oil that went to Florida and back. I said in an older video that I was gonna give it an oil change and stuff, but honestly that never happened. And that is the same oil that it's had since we went to Florida, went to nine second passes and drove it back. And it's had the same oil in it ever since. So it definitely needs an oil change. But you know, I think she'll make it to the house just fine. Hatch has been needing some love. I've seen a lot of you guys in the comments asking about this thing, where's it been? And we need to bring her back. And don't worry guys, the hatch is coming back. She's been sitting for way too long. Got all this dust on the dash. Poor thing's been sitting. Go ahead and fire it up. To be honest, we already did fire it up. I wanted to make sure that uh, it ran before we even tried to bring it over. Clutch pedal is a little soft because it's been sitting, but she's probably gonna fire right up since we did already pop it once. Let's go ahead and start her up. Fires right up. Idling good. Gauges are ran by a fuse that should be laying around here somewhere. Where's that fuse at? I don't even know. Hey guys, 
wife, it's time to bring the hatch to her new home. the hatch over here got yeah. the radicy tucked back over there and we're definitely uh stepping a little bit out of our element in this neighborhood <laughs> it's a little proper over here but it's really close to the shop i don't want to show all the houses and stuff just because i don't want to yeah. give away any addresses but yeah this is it little three-car garage and then you can come to the back and then i like this part quite a bit in the backyard there's like this little concrete pad it comes into the backyard there's no HOA over here even though it looks like there would be and there's this gate and that extends past the driveway so you can put stuff back here cool. thinking about just the, doing like a little carport or something this is where the boat goes but yeah we could put some stuff back here just a nice little backyard a little patio out there I like that too nice little yeah, hangout area really nice. yep there's the the new little crib we got the AstroTurf yard, so you never have to mow it. I love that, man. I walked up and I was like, you gotta fix this is what I need, bro. Yeah, it's like the only, one of the only houses that has it. One down there does, Kyle but. vacuuming his lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a comment on Instagram. They're like, even his yard is eBay. It's <laughs> so funny. That's so funny. Yeah, got a nice little AstroTurf yard. And... I guess when it snows and all that. When everybody else is all dead, it's still gonna be green. It's still green, right? Yeah. Never changes color. Nope. Got our little kitchen, little living room area. This is cool. Doggy door. Oh, I thought that was for me. He's in and out. Uh, it's okay. Brent's door. That's my door. <laughs> it's your access right there. Yeah, this is cool. This is the first turbo that came out of the hatch. Turned it into a lamp. It's the first thing <laughs> it brings to the house. Too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a homemade turbo lamp. Master bedroom in there. But yeah, it's just a you know basic little house, guys. Nothing too crazy. A couple rooms, then we got our basement down here. Basement's pretty dope. Got the little ping pong table, you know. Also, as a they left they left this. That's how we have a barbecue and some competition. You guys can get your practice in though. Yeah, I gotta get training. Yeah, we can get get a ping pong to beat Emilio and pool. There's a pool table under this. I'm not sure if it's a full size one, but you know, it'll work. Emilio, tell us. Does it look full size? Yeah, see. It looks a little small. Yeah, it looks a little small, huh? This is awesome, dude. Yeah, and then there's cool. a little hallway. There's a couple rooms and bathrooms back there, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, this is great. I like it's finished, finished basement. Yeah. And the best part about it all is that it's only 10 minutes away from the shop. Yeah, Instead of 40 awesome. minutes, yeah. so that's the main reason I wanted yeah, to come over good. here. It would have been nice to get something with land we were looking, but you know we decided to settle for this. It's a nice little neighborhood, yeah, not too far away. It's pretty good. You, you know it's a nice neighborhood. Oh yeah. When they start bringing you things, <laughs> neighbor gave me that last night. She's like, "You're always coming in and out," so I didn't know when to bring this by. Give me a bottle of Spring 44 vodka. They're gonna bring you some food tonight. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> i just been living off microwave dinners. Um, I got here and he wasn't here yet. And I was like, dude, your fridge is empty. 
<laughs> yeah, we got nothing in the fridge. <laughs> He's got his protein. Right? We just got some blue moons and you don't even need a couple of koi's. You got, got mask. you got your mask. I got my my serious mask that I never yours, take. Was it here? No, it's mine. Oh. You can tell I never use it. <laughs> <laughs> it's expired. <laughs> So yeah guys, officially moving out of the OG Booster Boys house. Like I said before, definitely a little sad. Started the channel there and just so much has happened inside of that house and a lot of good memories. And before I close this video out, I wanted to play some old videos. A lot of you guys are new subscribers. Some of you haven't been around for the whole life of the channel. Some of you OG subscribers will uh, recognize some of these videos. I'm not gonna play anything in any specific order. I also have a whole bunch of files, so I'm just going to kind of randomly select. I'm sure there's way better memories and stuff that I could have thrown in here, but I'm just going to do my best to kind of throw a little thing together for you guys. Uh, I just don't want to ever forget where we came from, and I appreciate all you guys for watching. It wouldn't be possible without the support of you guys. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and throw a little collage together. Hope you guys enjoy, and uh, yep, say goodbye to the OG house, guys, because... We are moving on to better things, so we'll see you guys later. So this is Charlie's wagon. We uh, we pretty much just got it all together. Got it like starting running, driving, kinda. Uh, we just got a new place, so we just got everything moved in here. We just got it pulled in. These are XXRs. They're pretty common style, but I think they will look really nice on the wagon. They're 16 by eights. We don't read books around here. What kind of shit is that? You read it? No, I haven't read a book since like sixth grade. Well, yeah. most of it, while it's on the floor, so that way it just like works itself. Alright, got the legs tacked on there. Just be gentle with it so they don't fall apart. Oh. Oh, oh. And another update on the MR2. I am going to be bringing it to PFI tomorrow, actually. We're going to tow it down to PFI, and I'm not sure if I'm going to start on it tomorrow, but I'm going to at least get it down there, and we will be working on the wiring. <laughs> so I've decided to upgrade turbos so you know just the same one that's on the hatch no big deal oh, oh. shit we killed it go start it again I got it now dude it actually spins that thing like really <laughs> fast <laughs> It's like so disappointing. It feels like it's gonna go in and it doesn't. <laughs> oh lord. So, gonna try to fire it up for the first time. Uh, no exhaust and there's no intercooler pipes, but we don't need that for it to uh, run. So yeah, gonna fire it up real quick. doing some more work on the K-Swapped STI. <laughs> Thing's serious, dude. Bro, that thing is not going anywhere. Look at that. It look it's a lot heavier than it looks. Oh it is. I'd say at least uh, it's close to 80, dude. Oh Ooh. 
Yeah, it's heavy, dude. <laughs> How you like that intercooler? It's freaking mint. Came out good? Mm-hmm. So nice. For reals, dude, you did a really good job. Hello, Looks like dude. it was ordered online. <laughs> For reals, dude. Charlie's on the pit bike. <laughs> That little 125 rips. <laughs> oh, I think you made it worse. I'm gonna try it again. I need to use both legs. <laughs> oh, dude, you just dented it. <laughs> So bad. <laughs> Last one. Sick. Make sure the hood still opens and closes fine. Oh yeah. Just take some acetone and clean off like this red marker and this black marker and it should come right off. Oh yeah, clean off my little dots. Yep. The thing goes Oh, he is gonna die. Those front wheels are so bad. Oh, it's still making that noise though. <laughs> oh, he just ran over the curb. She's running good. Lost the damn snake in the van. I'm gonna wait for his tail. Ready? No, grab his body. Just grab him, dude. Can you get him? I stopped him. Hold this light. Here, you want me to tear into this hole so we can... No. I'm not letting him get by. Do you ever fish a snake through a I hole in a runner board? I got him. Don't, no. don't, don't cut him. Oh. Holy shit. He thought he was a goner. Oh, he's pissed. I'm just going to have to fish him out slowly now. He's going to hold on, but I'm not letting him go. What's we, he even holding on to? Are you filming this, dude? Yeah. We got him, guys. Holy shit. He was about to cry because he lost his snake. Dude, I was so sad. I was like, dude, we're, he's going to die in the car. Put that air oh. Yes! We got him. Call him oh Steve Irwin. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's Crocky, mate. Crocky. We need like a fire extinguisher. Oh. Need some more of that starter fluid. <laughs> I think that's good enough. Pretty nice. <laughs> we need to put I knew that a few lines happen. to it. Wow. Woo! <laughs> All the Wits and Gullies sick tricks on YouTube. I'm gonna be blowing up soon. Just watch. Just watch it. You didn't even see how cool that trick was. Do I need to replay it? Watch.
Oh, hey, how are you? Hey, you want to go to dinner with me? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> One step closer, and my MR2 took a few steps back, but that's all right. Yeah, but it's going to be better in the future. Dude. It started now, you know? Yeah. Like yeah, now I'm probably just going to rip the motor out of this thing. It's time to build the MR2, guys. Yeah. 